Welcome Dart players one and all, this is straight to the point. And today we're going to have a quick discussion about Dart flights. As a general rule, the first thing I'd like to mention is that the longer the stem that you're using, generally the bigger the Dart flight you're going to need to keep the Dart stable. With a shorter stem, vice versa, smaller the flight you can generally get away with. If you were looking to keep your darts pointing downwards, something like Phil Taylor's, you'll see a lot of players using a long shaft and a small flight, and that will have the effect of losing stability, but generally the darts will land flatter or pointing downwards in the board. Vice versa, if you're trying to get your darts to land upwards, like Michael Van Gerwen's, generally players will use a shorter shaft with a bigger flight, as it gives you more elevation at the rear of the dart. Today, you can get darts in all different types of materials. So I've got a standard nylon flight there, which I had uh, made from Red Dragon darts. Uh, it's just a cheaper version of nylon, which is what I'm using at the moment, which is very, very thin, 75 microns. So you do go through them, but they're incredibly cheap. Great value for money. Cosmo, so this is a molded flight. You have to use a specialized dart stem to get them to work correctly and an oversized pair as well which is the same as these but it's longer so you get a lot more elevation it plays a little bit more like a standard flight but you can see more of the the treble the blocks are less at the bed with standard flights these days one thing to watch is that different manufacturers have got a very different idea as to what constitutes a standard flight so with this wooden mouth flight, for example, if I put it next to this ruthless set and compare this up, you can see it's actually ever so slightly smaller. And wooden mouth flights are generally quite big. So if you go for a different brand like Harrow's, you'll notice that their standard flights are much, much smaller. You get the same shape, but a lot less elevation due to the size, which isn't always a bad thing. You know, some players will like using a smaller standard, some people will like using a bigger standard, but it does become quite confusing when they're all listed the same. Another thing to watch out for is the material in which flights are made of. So it's becoming more and more common, especially with bigger manufacturers, such as with uh, this target flight here, as well as this darts corner one, and also this bull's fly I have, which is 150 microns, which is incredibly thick. And that is that they are made of paper rather than just nylon. So the flight themselves is actually slightly thicker than if you use an all plastic flight like this one. Now that means that the dart itself is going to fly a little bit slower when it's getting to the board because the, the flight is thicker. It's going to weigh ever so slightly more generally as well than just using an all nylon flight. But the, the main difference in the way they play is that it will travel slower to the board. And generally, I find they don't last as well. Uh, the, if the, the dart collides with, the, with another dart, generally they get beaten up pretty quickly. Other than that, the only molded flight that I would recommend trying are these Robsons, which are made by Bulls as well. Again, a molded flight, so you keep a perfect 90 degree angle at all times. These generally do last, I think, better than any other molded flight that I've personally tried. Uh, they're shiny, they're smooth, they are recyclable, and they work extremely well. This will fit any dart shaft that you, you have. It just pushes straight onto it, and the suction upon doing that really holds them in well. Fantastic, fantastic flight. Other than that, I'm not a big advocate of molded flights in general. I think they're very overpriced. Uh, uh, this Cosmo flight costs maybe six, six, seven pounds for a set of these. And I can go through two of them in a week. I, tend, I find they tend to split a lot at the bottom by here, as well as getting pretty beaten up on top, which is because they're so thick, you can get away with, you can just sort of uh, get a bit of sandpaper, sand them off, um, or just try and pull the fibres by hand, nice and straight. 
but this is the biggest problem because they're so hard by here there is little to no play I mean if I try to squeeze that I'm squeezing that pretty hard there and that's all I'm getting it, it there's not much give in it which causes them to split if you use a thinner flight I mean put that amount of pressure and it's completely bent so that is it for today guys but as a general rule just key things to remember smaller the shaft smaller the flight generally unless you're looking to create a downward angle like Phil Taylor Short, uh, shorter the shaft smaller the flight longer the shaft bigger the flight and the thickness of the flight will play a big part as well uh, again it's just trial and error uh, in terms of using a kite flight over a pair flight there is very little difference I find uh, very little difference especially if you put a flight protector on them you can't you can barely see the shape difference uh, I noticed there was um, a lot made of Glenn Durrant changing his flights from from kite to pair and he was saying it was uh, because he's been advised by uh, someone in the manufacturing team that a kite flight might help his game I personally don't think it's that at all I think it's just because uh, the sponsor he uses target don't make uh, pear shaped flights unless they're moulded which he doesn't use and so he's just trying to make life easier and go with a kite flight rather than them having to make a specific set for him because there is next to no difference in this flight and this flight hardly anything it's, it's unnoticeable but anyway that is it for today so that is straight to the point I really appreciate you guys watching uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos or if there's anything you'd like help with in particular by all means just drop a comment below please remember to like and subscribe I am new to this but I'm keen to get this off the floor the more darts on YouTube the better I say thank you for your time again you take care